What happens when you run the same M90 supercharger with the same 2.6 inch blower pulley on a 3800 V6 and a 4.8 liter V8? Which one makes more power? Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder and welcome to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a comparison using the M90, a Junkyard M90 Gen 5 supercharger with a very small 2.6 inch blower pulley that spins the blower very, very fast. The cool thing is I ran that setup both on a 3800 V6 and a 4.8 liter V8, so it makes for an interesting comparison. Let's check out how much power it made on the modified 3800, and then find out how much power it made on the 4.8. Okay guys, let's jump right in in our comparison between the 3800 V6 and the 4.8 liter, but both run with the same Gen 5 M90 supercharger and the same 2.6 inch blower pulley, and I'll take you through the modifications that we did on each one of them to get to that point because both of the motors are also modified in addition to running that particular supercharger with that particular pulley. So we'll start out with our stock 3800 V6. And this one was a 2004, meaning it, it, it was already, it was an L32, it was already equipped with the Gen 5 blower. And we ran this in stock trim. We ran it with the stock blower, stock blower pulley, stock throttle body. Stock intake manifold, cam heads, everything just the way that it came out of the wrecking yard. We did run it with an open exhaust. It had the factory exhaust manifolds on it and the crossover, we'll call it a white pipe. <laughs> and then we ran a basically a three inch elbow off of the exhaust, off of the exit of the what would be the rear of the front wheel drive exhaust manifold. And then an open throttle body. It did have full accessories on it because we needed the accessories to basically run the water pump. We don't have an electric water pump for the 3800. So we ran all the accessories and then obviously the belt on the stock 3.8 inch blower pulley. We got, ran all of this with a Holly HP management system so that we could dial in the tune and stuff and try to optimize the power output. And we ran this on 91 octane because this is a you know, a, a low boost stock application was designed to run on that. And run in this manner, our combination produced the 3800 with the stock blower and the stock pulley produced 290 horsepower and 292 foot pounds of torque. And here's what happens after we started our series of modifications. So we'll go ahead and take a look. What we did was install a 3.2 inch blower pulley we did have, we did rebuild the heads. The heads, I think we had a couple of sets of heads and, and we had a problem with them. So we did a razor blade rebuild on them. We did a valve job on them and stuff um, just to bring them back up to spec. We also put LS6 valve springs on it, the LS springs on it, because we were going to be putting camshafts in this thing. Right now it had a, a stock camshaft in it still. So basically this was an upgrade on the cylinder heads. We just repaired them so that they weren't leaking and then we put the the valve springs on it and then the 3.2 inch pulley and run with that uh and we also run on e85 so that we could run full timing and stuff on it run in this manner the combination produced 352 horsepower and 370.6 so we'll, maybe we'll call that 371 foot pounds of torque Here's what happened when we stepped our game up to uh, the big boy setup. So this was the Gen 5 blower with the 2.6 inch blower pulley. So spinning this thing up quite a bit. I'll go ahead and put the different boost levels up for the different pulleys here. But we also, and this would also change the, the boost pressure that we would see in the motor. But we also changed to a set of ported heads. And then we also changed to a ZZP camshaft. And I'll go ahead and put the specs up here on the camshaft. So basically this was a stock bottom end L32. We did not change the ring gap yet. Um, it was untouched. <clears throat> we had ported heads on it. We had the ZZP cam. We had the L32 intake manifold, but it was not ported. We had the Gen 5 blower. We had the 2.6 inch pulley. We had the stock throttle body and an inlet on it. And we had the stock exhaust. Uh, we may have had we may have had long tube headers on this, but when we did the test, 
Um, the headers showed no power gain over the stock exhaust manifold, so you guys can argue about that all that you want. But run in this manner, a combination produced 448 horsepower and 434 foot-pounds of torque. So this is what our 2.6-inch pulley and this L32 Gen 5 blower and throttle body did on our 3800. So now let's see what happens when we take that blower off of the 3800 and basically put it on a 4.8-liter V8. Okay, now let's take a look and see what happened when we added the M90 with the 2.6 inch blower pulley to the 4.8 liter, and then we can kind of compare the power outputs between the 3800 V6 and the 4.8 liter V8, both run with the same blower, but we want to show you how the 4.8 liter, this particular one, started out. This was a wrecking yard motor that I had a ton of problems with, actually. It had a a couple of bad cam lobes. It had a couple of bad lifters. The lifters had rotated in the trays. It had a couple of bent push rods. A guy tried to uh, glue a rocker back on because he had broke the stud. So, so it had all kinds of problems. So we had to fix all of that. And then when, once we did, we finally put it up on the dyno and ran it. And, and it ran pretty good. It's down a little bit compared to where these things normally are. Normally these things are in the 300 and... 32 or 3 or 5 range uh you know good ones this one i think the i think the cylinder heads and and one or two of the cylinders weren't perfect because it ran so long without these things working and there was a lot of buildup of carbon and stuff in these things but we cleaned it out as best we could but here's what happened when we ran the stock 48 <clears throat> with the way that we run it long tube headers open throttle body no accessories we ran it with a holly hp management system and an optimized tune and our stock 4.8 liter produced 326 horsepower and 337 foot pounds of torque but here's what happened when we modified it basically our na trim for this motor before we installed the supercharger because we had to make some modifications to the 4.8 liter before we could put the blower on it. most notably we had to install a holly high ram because the adapter plate that i made i'll show you here that was designed to attach the blower to this high ram it had that had that mounting pattern in it so we had a flat plate that bolted to the top of the high ram and then the blower bolted to this plate that way we could mount the m90 on the 4.8 liter because it didn't have a dedicated manifold for it in this case we also put a brian tooley racing truck norse no springs required cam in it it happened to already be in the motor when we decided to put the blower on there and it worked out really well it, it, the no springs required cam was run with the stock springs from the wrecking yard and we ran the thing out to 7,000 rpm seemed to work great with this cam so the cam obviously fairly stable being a low lift camshaft and made good power but run with our long tube headers our junkyard 48 with the holly high ram 105 millimeter throttle body and the brian tooley racing truck norris nsr camshaft the na combination produced 385 horsepower and peak torque checked in at 336 foot-pounds of torque. Just kind of shifted the torque curve out farther, the Holly High Ram being short runner, much shorter runner than the factory truck manifold. But here's what happened when we installed the supercharger, their same M90 supercharger that we ran on the, the 3800. Here's what happened when we installed this thing. We put the M90 on. It had a 2.6-inch pulley. It should be noted that the stock truck damper basically the lower crank pulley is bigger than the one used on the 3.6 inch it's about a half inch bigger so we have we actually have more blower speed despite the fact that we have the same blower pulley on there but run with the m90 and the 2.6 inch blower pulley on the 4.8 liter on our modified 4.8 liter we got 486.6 horsepower peak torque checked in at 452.7 foot pounds of torque like the 3800, we also ran this on E85 so that we could optimize the timing. This one, however, did not have an intercooler. And if we look at a comparison between the two, I'll go ahead and bring those up and we can compare directly the power output of the 4.8 liter with the blower and the 3800 with the same blower.
Okay, now let's take a look at a direct comparison between the 3800 V6 with the M90 and the 2.6 inch blower pulley and the 4.8 liter V8 with the same blower setup. This is our V6. We had 448 horsepower and 434 foot-pounds of torque. Here is our 4.8 liter V8. You can see it definitely made more power, 487 horsepower. Peak torque checked in at 453 foot-pounds of torque. The interesting thing is if you look at below 4,500 RPM, in fact, below 4,600 RPM, the two were really comparable in terms of torque output. So we, we were just kind of you know, moving back and forth uh, a few foot pounds of torque. So, so below 4,500, they were actually fairly even in the amount of torque output that they produce. But once we got past the 4,500 RPM mark, the 4.8 liter actually started making more power. And I suspect that that's from a couple of things. One, the blower is spinning faster because of the 7.5 inch crank pulley. Also, the runner length on the high ram, I think is coming into play here. On the 3800, we have very, very short runners, which are good for high RPM. The problem is where they're tuned to run at, we're not there yet. <laughs> so the higher I'm actually is tuned to run, you know, it's still, still be able to make power in this range. I think that that's part of it. I also think that the milder camshaft in the 4.8 liter, the truck Norris NSR cam, uh, 212 degrees of duration versus 220 or more degrees of duration on the 3.8 liter. And I honestly think that the that cam is probably a little bit wilder on the smaller displacement motor than it is than the, than the truck Norris cam is on the larger displacement motor. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of things to discuss here, but ultimately the bigger motor made more power and did so at a lower boost level when we're running the same blower with the same blower speed, even though we ran it a little bit faster because of the crank pulley. That's what happens on positive displacement blowers. When you run them on a combination that's more efficient, you get more power and less boost. I'm Richard Earl, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff, and I'll keep testing.